Hey everybody. The other day I posted a picture over on my Facebook account of this acorn seedling that's starting to grow. And apparently a lot of people wanted more information about what we're doing. Well, this is what we're doing. You see that tall tree that is dormant right now in the center of the screen? That is a white oak. And you can see from this angle just how close it is to the power lines and to the road. And from this angle, you can see it's already leaning. What would you say that is? Maybe five or 10 degrees? And it is leaning right toward the road. But truth be told, concern for the general public or even for our own power was not our first motivation to come out here to this tree. We first came out here because it is a white oak and we wanted to harvest some acorns to feed our pigs. But then we started to find all of these acorns that were already starting to sprout. Not only were they already sprouting, but they were sprouting right there on the top of the soil, usually with just a few leaves around them. Not under the soil at all. And that's when we really got the idea, hey, if we're going to take down this tree because we don't want it there anymore, but it is providing us with acorns to feed our pigs, maybe we should take some of these acorns that are already sprouting and try to grow some more white oaks on the rest of our property. After all, they are good for deer, and you all have seen the videos where we're trying to always attract deer to the property, and it's just good stewardship. If you're going to take a tree down, if you can get something to grow off of that tree to let its life and lineage continue, then why not do it? So that's what we're going to do. And this is how we are doing it. All we did was take the acorns and place them on the top of the soil here in what is called a container. If you've never seen these container pots before, what makes them special is they're deep. These are specifically for growing trees or shrubs or anything with a large tap root. So this one here is specifically their eight inch long model. You can get a 10 inch and I'm not sure if there's anything larger than that. But all we did is place the acorn right on top. And now if you'll excuse the mess of things that haven't been cleaned up from last season, you can see we got a whole row of them here. And the container tray just sits inside of this uh, masonry bin or this utility bin that stays a bit full of water. So down there at the road, you noticed I was in a bit of a ditch, not a very big one, but suffice to say, it's probably staying pretty moist on the soil down there. So we thought, well, if we could keep the soil a good bit moist, maybe that would do. And so this is how we're trying it out. And so far we've got seven out of seven growing. Now I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel so you can come back and check out how these things are doing in the future. Now, oaks are not the fastest growing trees ever, so I suspect it's going to be a few months before they start to put on even their second set of true leaves. But about that time, I'm going to start to think about what I need to transplant them into. Maybe I can find an even deeper pot to reuse on the property, or maybe we need to start thinking about where their permanent home is going to be, because I don't want the tap root to extend past the eight inches in my container. So. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any other comments or questions about this, uh, leave a comment down below. I was really interested to see back over on Facebook how there are parts of the world where some people are just mowing down their oak trees because they grow up so quickly. Other places seem to have a deficiency and a problem with it. And it's not just because of general climate. It's just that the species hasn't naturally propagated itself that far. So. Uh, if this is something that you do to try to propagate hardwood species and try to get out of this pine forest, let me know because that is what I'm interested in. I want to get some nut producing trees onto the property uh, to support wildlife and livestock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.